Hello and welcome to another weekend update. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the versatile four-wheel drive tractors and also the uh, vintage grain auger pack. Uh, so let's jump into it. Uh, so first up, we're going to take a look at the versatile. Uh, these have been submitted to Mod Hub now. Uh, so we'll take a quick look here and see. Uh, so first up, your year and model is your first option. Uh, we got the 2022 by 30, 580, and 620. Then we have the 2020, 520, 570, 610. Uh, 2016, 450, 500, 550. And then we have the 2016 50th anniversary edition. Uh, or the legendary limited edition. Uh, we get the 450, 500, 550 in that. And then we also have this made up uh, Bristol, uh the Port New Holland kind of heritage inspired paint scheme there. Uh, next up on the Delta track here, we got some track options. We got 30 and 36 inch tracks in three different styles. And then we also have a three meter configuration for if you're running controlled traffic farming or just want that wider stance. Uh, this tractor will make the ladder fold up because otherwise the ladder would hit the tracks when they're sticking out too far. Um, the real life kit has uh, an extension for the ladder, but I couldn't really find any pictures good enough to actually model it. So I just left it as as is, and just folded the ladder up. Uh, then lights, we get the standard uh, lights here. Um, actually, I'm going to release a few of these, one in each configuration, just so we can see what it makes difference it makes out on the ground as well. Uh, so yeah, these are all kind of halogen lights. Then we can go to the LED package there, which adds a few more and switches some of these to LEDs. And then there's a full LED where everything's LED. You get more on the fenders back there. And then the last package is we have a light bar up here. Everything's the same in the back as the previous package, but then we have a light bar here up top as well. And I've been leasing these as we go through. Also should have probably renamed those, but I'm sure it'll get sent back for something, so I'll be able to rename what each option is called there. Uh, and then there's a monitor option in the cab. The old monitor, which will just display your hydraulic settings. And then there's a new monitor, which will actually display your your speed and such. Now we got a front weight option there. And we also have the blade attacher option for uh, Carl Farms K9 blade is there if you want to attach it. A beacon option, so we have old and new. And if we go to the older models with the mirrors here, then the beacon moves to the center of the cab, like so. Uh, then we have a GPS. I decided to make it a standalone option for console players to be able to put the GPS in the cab. So that, you know, if you don't have the GPS mod enabled, you can still put the GPS on your tractor. And then on the back, we have the PTO, PTO with weights, different weights, just the weights up the top and then both weights. So you can really load this tractor up weight-wise if you want, up to 30.4 tons on the Delta track there. Um, so yeah, that's the options there. And then over to the wheel tractor, we have all the same model options, same engine options all the way through on this one. And all the same options here, everything is the same. Uh, the only difference is you're going to have different tire options. So we've got quite a few Michelins here. And we got some Midas tire options. Trailberg tire options. And also to note, these all have, these are all custom rims. Aside from the triple configurations, use the in-game rims. But the rest of them are all custom wheels. Um... I got lots of different options in each brand. 
aside from Bredestein. But then we get into lizards. We've got some LSWs. We've got triple wheels. Another set of triple wheels. You got Firestone and Goodyear triples. You got some Goodyear duels. More Goodyear duels. Firestone duels. Back to more Goodyear duels. And then LSW duels. So all sorts of big options there. Um, everything else is going to be the same in through those. Um, but there's the special Ford New Holland one there. Um, hop in the store here. And so here's the LED package. Uh, maybe we will quick use easy dev here to jump it into nighttime. So there's the LED with light bar package. As you can see, you're not going to have any visibility issues with that one. Uh, full LED package there. And here's where we're getting into the halogens. So you can see kind of the two different colors of light based on what style of light they are. The LEDs are a lot more of a, a white or a blue light. And then we get back into the old halogens. So, you know, you can, if you're doing a lot of farming at night and it's worth it, you can uh, spend the money to make your tractor brighter at night. Um, but yeah, there's that. Uh, we'll have to jump it back into the daytime for the next segment here actually we're going this way and we'll jump over to the auger pack uh just a little update here uh someone had pointed out to me that somewhere along the way this pulley and gearbox here ended up with a, a weird texture on it and i was like okay but then since i figured you know if I gotta fix that. I might as well uh, try and fix the sliding issues these augers had too. So quickly put together a fix for that. The auger cranked up here. A little higher yet. Does apply to both augers. I'm just going to show on the first tile because the first tile was more the culprit of sliding issues. Let's get it into position here now that the tractor's unhooked. Now that, and then when we put the hopper down, it kind of makes the auger bump a little bit like that. But that means this auger is not going to move anywhere. up here. BTO. As you see, that auger does not want to move. Tractor isn't going to budge it. So, should eliminate hopefully some of those annoying sliding issues that this pack had. Uh, we can unload without worrying about the auger moving out from under the bin on us. Um, so yeah, it's a simple little update there that will be coming soon on the mod hub. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll hopefully catch you next time. That's all for now. Bye.